Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much Mr Drury and hello to everyone. them now Ericsson Casemiro Aimed forward Plays it out to the wing Martial Hits one Danger averted for now the pass battles to win it back out again for a throw in in low and that should be the keepers it's gone for a throw in oh well intercepted really alert to the danger Sergio Busquets Casemiro No goals as yet Ericsson forwards that's a throw lovely bit of skill he is not one readily to admit defeat don't be surprised if he tries that again and the first 45 minutes are up so your views on the first half well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. That first 45 minutes, 
didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Talk about singling someone out. Well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's being closed down first. Tries a through ball. And out to safety. Looks to slip it through. Looks like a good ball through. That will be a throw in. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Passes it through, and he's cut it out. He can get that clear. There is some activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Miro. Very few chances to talk of Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Rashford. Looks like a good ball through. And he's onside. Looking for a corner. Got rid of that. Spoon forward. Sergio Busquets. It's intriguingly poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave, and I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. Five minutes left on the clock. He's coming on the right now. What's on? He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Rashford crosses one in. Rashford Messi going that's it we're going to get 30 minutes more well nil nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen the game's been vibrant I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line so a brief breather and then extra time Test this for the endurance, for the character of the players as we head into extra time. Back to the keeper and try something new. Christian Eriksen gets it back. Sergio Busquets gets his foot in there. And that's a foul. Free kick's been given. This is gone. That's a foul. With a delicate ball. It's the goalkeepers to claim. 
reached the midway point in extra time. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. And we're off for the final time. Nil-nil still. Play to win or play for penalties. Ericsson. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? You know, what will they rue more? I think it'd be a cautious mindset they'd regret more for me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. And the defence can get it clear. Tries to stroke it through. Final whistle and confirmation, we are headed for penalties. Yeah, the longer it went on, it kind of became inevitable that it would end this way. And, and while each defence can be proud, they've got very little say from here. It's up to the keepers now. Well, the players look exhausted, but one last act. We're back in a moment for penalties. Boy, you can feel the tension. So the ball is placed on the spot. Messi steps up to take the first one. And he's found the net. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Cooley done. What each. He just did what he was asked. So, the second man in line. Oh, it's saved. Pretty much straight at him. I think the tension must have got to him because that went straight into the keeper's arms. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. So this one to restore parity. It's in and the keeper could have done better. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. From one behind. That's how it's done, he made the keeper commit. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. And so the captain steps up. Oh, he's hit it over! It's brain freeze, I think. Uh, that was wild. Strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Manchester United must score to keep their hopes alive. And scores to keep them alive. Good penalty. Completely wrong footed the keeper. It is sudden death from here on. One miss could lose it. No, he hasn't scored. So the first one in sudden death, a huge responsibility. And there it is, the decisive kick. So after a grueling game that went all the way, the winner is decided on penalties. It is a horrible way to lose.